I'm Hayden Quinn, and Australia's my home. Hey, hey, mate. How you going? I love the people, the places, and the food that make this country so special. Oh, those up for you. So good. Hey. In this series, I'll be travelling all over Australia to discover the locations, the characters, and the amazing food that make up the real taste of Australia. Pretty good. All the fresh produce is here. What's your secret? this morning. Um, you definitely know you're in Tassie when it's this cold coming in the summer, but on an epic sheep farm today, and I'm meeting up with a young farmer, Claire. Um, she, she's coming down the driveway now, it's a long driveway, um, to learn all about her incredible products, so I better go meet her. Hey, Claire. Hi, Hayden, how are you going? <laughs> Good, how are you? Jump it's, in. It's a bit cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, puppy. <laughs> hey, darling. <laughs> the sheep, darling. Hi, bud. Good girl. So this is our family farm. Dad, my brother and I work on the place. Mm -hmm. All together it's 10,000 acres that we're running and we've got 8,000 ewes. Wow. Got a few. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> Hayden, do you mind grabbing the gate? We'll go and have a look at some ewes and lambs. No worries. Perfect, thank you. Come on, Dolly. Come on. There we go. All right, so this is a, a very typical paddock for us um, on the farm. You probably recognise this species yes. we have here. Clover. Yes. It's really high in energy. Mm -hmm. So for our ewes, especially with this mob here that have got twins, yep. we need to make sure that we're feeding them uh, the highest energy food that we can to ensure that you've got the best growth rates for those right. lambs. Yeah and also to ensure that that ewe has enough feed to actually supply her body as well. So you're feeding all three of those organisms via that one ewe's mouth. It's a lot of work, hey? It's a lot of eating. Yeah, it is a lot of it's eating. It's a lot of clover. It is, absolutely. As you can see here, it's nice and green. So this is actually, we're in a pivot circle. Okay. So the pivots are the big irrigators, big water sprinklers see that you see. There, yeah. yeah, so it's got a central point and then it's 500 metres long, or well, these ones are, and then it'll spin around in the circle. Okay. So we're quite fortunate on this farm um, that we've got the big hills at the back there. We capture the, the water into dams and then it's fed down here into the irrigators. Okay. So we can turn the rain on in the middle of summer. So Very lucky, you, hey? It is. It's really <laughs> unique. And you know, all the animals, I can see they look super healthy. The, the mums, the ewes are like barrels. <laughs> they're, they're, they've got plenty of feed on. They are slightly rotund, yes. <laughs> Okay, while Claire's finishing off a few jobs out on the farm, I thought I would get into cooking a really simple, healthy, fresh and versatile meal for her. Lamb loin chops, I've got my sort of fennel tabbouleh number, heaps of herbs, lots of flavour, real punchy, lemon, a little bit of olive oil, it's going to be so good, really, really tasty. Plus, it's done on the barbecue, really simple stuff. If you don't have a barbecue at home, obviously you can do them in the pan, really, really easy. Okay. First things first, the web is on, super hot. We want it nice and smoking. Whenever you're cooking red meat, make sure you pull it out about 20 minutes before you want to cook, just so that it comes up to temperature and it allows for even cooking. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top of the lamb chops. It's important to oil the meat and not oil the pan or the barbecue, because that way you can really control how much oil you put on there. So just using your hands, just sort of rub it all over there, get it on. I love the loin chop. The best thing I love about it is the little tail. That's got to be, surely that's got to be everyone's favourite. So obviously we're just doing them a la natural. I'm going to add a little bit of salt just for some seasoning, but you know, you could add spices, um, you could bake them in the oven, you could do them in the pan, like I said. Super versatile and oh, 
it just reminds me of my childhood. Love it. Now, some sea salt just to season it up nicely. Barbecue is roaring hot. And we're just gonna get them straight onto the bars. Really, really easy stuff. You guys know how to barbecue, but depending on how you like your lamb, three to four minutes on each side, flip them. You wanna get that medium rare inside. Oh, I love it. Chuck the lid down, let those cook for a couple of minutes, and then we'll give them a turn. Okay, while our lamb loin chops are cooking away on the barbecue, we're gonna do up that really fresh sort of fennel tabbouleh. So I've got some fennel here, just shaved it nice and thinly on the mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can just use a knife and do it yourself. Uh, we've got some bulgur as well. It's been cooked as per the packet instructions. Gives that really nice texture. If you can't find bulgur, use couscous as an example. Um, just pour that sort of in and around and we'll slowly build this salad up. I hope Claire likes this. Do you think she'll like it? I think she'll like it. I think we're onto a winner here. Just gonna check the lamb, looking good. Happy days, I'm not gonna turn it just yet. Okay, now to go with our salad, we've got lots of herbs. So we've got some finely chopped mint that's gonna go in. This is gonna be really colorful. You know, any sort of tabbouleh, it's packed full of the herbs, mainly our old mate friend, parsley. So a heap of parsley as well. That goes in there. Happy days. I'm also gonna do a little bit of green chili, just finely diced, seed removed. That goes on as well. I'm gonna to toss that through it in a minute. We're gonna go with a little bit of me old mate, extra virgin olive oil over the top. Okay. And then seasoning with sea salt, a little bit of pepper. And then just gonna move this forward for one second. Some lemon and that's gonna be squeezed over the top for a bit of acid. Look, this is like a 15 minute meal. It's really, really quick. It's really, really simple, easy stuff. Your veggies in there, lots of color, bit of acid. This is gonna be super tasty. Claire's gonna love it. Okay, I think it's time to turn our chops. Where are my tongs? They're looking great. Beautiful, see that color? That's exactly what we're looking for. Give them a little flip. There we go, look at that. That's exactly what we're looking for. Those bar marks, beautiful color, that char. Couple more minutes on this side and then we're gonna put them on a plate, leave them to rest for about five minutes. What about this? This is a spot to cook. Green rolling hills, a little bit of rain in the background. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay, time to plate up. Everything's looking perfect. Couple of plates. Couple of chops. Woo! That one's beautiful. Now just with the salad, really simple. I'm just gonna sort of mix it as I serve it. Um, so get the herbs through, get some of that fennel. And then that just goes straight onto our plate here. Some for me. There we go, look at that. That looks amazing. Let's go and see what Claire thinks. Here we go. Perfect. I hope you're hungry. Some nice lamb loin chops. Looks little amazing. Tabbouleh. Yeah. Yum. Very yeah, dive good. right in. I'm starving. Thank you. I love the tail. It's my favourite bit. Like, <laughs> straight up, honestly. I've always loved lamb chops. They're delicious. Mm. Good fresh salad. Reminds me of my childhood mm -hmm. a lot. I like this little tabbouleh too. The fennel's nice. Yeah, perfect. Delicious. Thank you very much. No worries. That was great. Get over, Dolly. Go left. Go left. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Abigail. Yeah, no, that's good, Hayden. Oh, yep, up here, yep, yep. Just wait there, that'll be perfect.
Well, what a day out on the farm with Claire. It's always good to learn about your produce and where it comes from. So I thought as a bit of a thank you, I'd get together some of my favorite ingredients and cook for Claire and her family. A really simple cracker dish. It's my slow cooked lamb shoulder. It's one of those one pan wonders you can sort of set and forget. But the hero of the dish is this lamb shoulder. It's, it's beautiful. It's one of those things that is perfect for slow cooking. It just falls away from the bone. It's a really great way to share, you know, a good amount of food with a large group of people. So we've got a two kilo lamb shoulder and that's gonna go into my roasting pan, which I actually brought from home because I love it so much. Um, to go with that, we have a number of different aromats. Um, first up, we're gonna go with some, some leek. So we're just gonna take off sort of that rooty root bulb at the end there and then just finely slice that. The leek's gonna go into the pan, just in and around the lamb. Finish it off. Garlic, love garlic, goes perfectly with our lamb. I'm just gonna cut it straight down the middle of the head so that all the cloves are exposed. Put those in around next to the lamb. There you go, perfect, you can see that there. All the different uh, garlic cloves, just shove it sort of around the outside. That's gonna get nice and soft and add a whole heap of flavor. A little bit of parsley, which um, I will actually just use the stalks of. So again, they're gonna add a real nice flavor in there. They just go into the bottom of the dish. Spread them around. We don't want this to dry out at all. So we're gonna add a nice amount of liquid. We have some, some stock. We're just gonna pour that into the corner of the dish. I don't want to put any stock or any liquid on the skin or the fat because we want that to render out and then eventually we want it to get nice and crispy. Also have some red wine. Whatever you've got at home, whatever you're drinking, you can use that. Um, good glug of our red wine. And all this liquid is just going to reduce down. It's going to intensify in flavour because all the lamb juices are going to come out. You've got those bones in there and it's gonna make the most amazing sauce and gravy. So there's our red wine. Worcestershire sauce for some real meatiness. Get that in. Wonderful. And then just to finish off, we have some tinned tomatoes. Whole tomatoes, just pop them in whole. At the end of the cook, we're gonna mash them up and um, create that sauce. So they go in as well. There we go. And to finish off, thyme couple of sprigs of thyme, just literally just scattered over the top of the whole dish. A swig of extra virgin olive oil, gives it that silkiness. And then as always, season sea salt. I don't mind if the salt goes on the skin and a pinch of cracked pepper. Okay, time to cover our lamb. What I like to do is get a bit of baking paper and put that on top of the lamb and then finish it with some foil. So, baking paper. And just get your foil and you want to really tuck it in nice and tight so that you seal in all those juices. All right, that's looking good. Time to hit the oven. There we go. Lamb's in the oven. Three hours, 110 degrees. I better get back outside and help Claire around the farm. I better rug up too, because it's freezing. Alrighty, so been out there working hard. Three hours is down. It's time to check the lamb. Basically, it should be pulling away from the bone. There won't be any colour on it yet, but we'll fix that in a minute. It smells really, really good. Okay, just lift the foil up. Obviously, be careful, it's gonna be hot. Okay, and then again, the baking paper, you can just pull that off. Look at that. Oh, smells absolutely amazing. As you can see, you know, the shoulder's starting to sort of stick out here. We got the bone, it's pulling away, it's falling apart, but there's no color on the top there. So what I'm gonna do is crank the oven up a little bit, about 100 and 180 degrees, put that back in the oven, let it sort of reduce slightly. We can mash up the tomatoes, mash up the garlic, create that sauce. It's gonna be amazing. Shut that up. 
Okay, we'll let that color for about 30 minutes. While that's in the oven, I'm gonna finish off with our veg, carrots, that really nice pea salad. Guests are gonna be coming here very, very soon. First things first, our carrots. Um, all we need to do is really trim them down. If you can't find really nice little baby carrots like this, you can just use regular carrots, cut them into quarters so they're a bit smaller than big, chunky carrots and, and they'll be perfect. Okay, so just take the little ends off them. You may need to just check and, and pull off any of the sort of uglier leaves or if there's any dirt in there, just run a brush through them, but these look pretty good. Into a, a roasting tray. We got a few different colors. We've got obviously your classic orange. We've got some, some purple carrots here as well. And these really cool, I guess you'd call them, I guess they're yellow carrots, which are quite awesome as well. So just really simple into the tray, clean them up a little bit. You can twist them off, you can cut them, whatever works for you. Now, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top. And plus we're gonna, a little bit of butter just for some nutty flavor in there, just in and around the carrots. Got some honey, drizzle that over the top for a little bit of sweetness. Get a nice golden color to those carrots as well. And then of course, good seasoning, some sea salt, a little bit of cracked pepper. Grab your roasting pan, give it a little shake. The butter will obviously melt once it hits the oven, but that looks pretty good to me. Into the oven with the lamb, about 20 minutes, they're gonna be perfect. Okay, carrots are in the oven, the lamb's getting brown, a little bit of freshness to uh, finish it off, basically. We're doing a broad bean, snow pea, and pea salad, highlighted with a little bit of mint, some lemon zest, salt, and pepper. Easy, how easy is that? Fresh broad beans, they are amazing at the moment. With the broad beans, what you wanna do is just blanch them really quickly in some hot water, um, chill them really quickly so they don't continue cooking, and then you've gotta pop them out of this outer shell, okay? So eventually, they will look like that. Bright green, vibrant, this outer sort of grayy green shell will be gone, and there, soft, delicious, sweet, and that's exactly what you wanna be eating. With the snow peas, I'm not gonna leave them whole. What I'm gonna do is basically take the tail off, and then I'm gonna use my knife and just finely sort of slice through those snow peas. Just gives it a bit of a different look. You can see the peas in there. Snow peas are done. We've got our really nice, lovely, large serving bowl. I'm just gonna add those in there. The color is just amazing. Different textures, our broad beans. In they go. Some peas as well. And then obviously to finish off seasoning, salt, pepper, lemon zest. Extra virgin olive oil, good drizzle of that over the top. And then we've got our lemon. And finally, some fresh mint. I'm just gonna pluck off a few leaves, finely shred those up. That's gonna add a really nice pea and mint flavor, the classic combination. There we go, look at that, super simple. We've got our pea salad, the carrots are in the oven, the lamb is just crisping up, it's looking nice and golden. Guys aren't far away, so it's time to get this to the table. Sensational, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, well done. Really good. It's falling apart, isn't it? Oh, sensational. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Thank you very much for having me.
And thank, thank you for welcome, my yeah. Yeah. No worries. I was a hard <laughs> day's work on the farm for me. Yeah. And, and I even managed to cook dinner. <laughs> well, the guys just said, that's a really nice dinner. So that's a win. They're loving the, uh, the shoulder. Perfect for a, a night like tonight. It's actually a little bit cold here in Tasmania. But it's always great to see where your food comes from. You know, spending a day with Claire on the farm and Dolly the dog, you know, working the sheep. It's pretty special. Um, not many people get to do it, but I'm glad you guys were able to see it. Um, I'm going to go in there and finish off the lamb and have a good time with these guys. See you. Good dogs.